For more information on what exactly happened, we are joined by Fox News Chicago correspondent Mike Tobin. Hey, Mike. Hey there, Tucker. Angry little man, pushy little bastard. That's the way one neighbor describes Hodgkinson to our uh, producer on the ground in Belleville, Illinois. It was his way or no way. That's who he was, the neighbor went on to say. Now, Hodgkinson had his run-ins with police. In March of this year, a resident in St. Clair County, Illinois, called the sheriff because Hodgkinson was around his house firing a rifle. He pointed the rifle towards the center of the timber back there and started shooting across the field, you know, and it was a high-powered rifle, and I thought, good grief, there's houses over there and everything, and I yelled at him, I said, hey, you know, stop shooting over there, there's houses over there and everything, and I didn't get a, a, any kind of a, a no notion from him that he heard me or that he even cared. Now, when the deputy arrived, Hodgkinson produced a valid firearm owner's ID, so the deputy just told him to stop. Now, there's an extensive report from 2006. Apparently, Hodgkinson's daughter went over to a neighbor's house and refused to come home. So over the course of two days, according to police records, Hodgkinson went to the house, broke a door, punched a woman in the face, fired around from his shotgun, hit a guy with a stock from the gun, pulled his daughter to the floor by her hair, attempted to drag her from a car. There were also charges in separate instances, uh, resisting arrest, and drugs. Drunk driving. Now, Hodgkinson also had his political side. He wrote letters to a local paper ranting about taxes that the rich needed to pay their fair share. His Facebook page is now taken down, but it was riddled with anti Trump, anti Republican comments. His page had a big picture of Bernie Sanders with the slogan, Democratic Socialism explained in three words We the people. Senator Sanders reacted. Let me be as clear as I can be. Violence of any kind is unacceptable in our society, and I condemn this action in the strongest possible terms. The Illinois Policy Institute dug up Hodgkinson's voting record. He voted Democrat in 2008, 2012, and 2016. Tucker? Mike Tobin, thanks for the background.